Hate girl, boys pretend to like girl, boys hurt girl. Not your typical love story, which is why In the Company of Men is drawing rave reviews and passionate debate. Cynthia Tornquist examines the film that has the industry buzzing. Men like us, guys who care a smidgen about the workplace, they're women. We are doomed if this is how they're going to treat us. It was the most controversial film at Sundance, took home the filmmaker's trophy, and was shot in under two weeks for under $25,000. Yet the talk surrounding the film in the company of men was not of awards, distributors, or budgets, but of the brutal and painful honesty depicted by director Neil LeBrute. The first line of dialogue uh, in my original draft was what ended up being the end of the first section, which is, let's hurt somebody. It was a very ominous sounding the idea of two men sitting and one saying very even-handedly to someone let's hurt somebody you know it was kind of chilling the idea uh, was simple two men away on a business trip decide to play a game they will romance a vulnerable woman and then dump her Stacy Edwards plays a deaf woman who becomes the victim of the hoax it's brutal there is no violence there's no bloodshed there's uh, no one dies uh, Neil made a comment that you can kill someone once but you can hurt someone a hundred times and and he does it with words and um, with human emotions women nice ones the most frigid of the race it doesn't matter in the end Inside, they're all the same. Meat and gristle and hatred. Just simmering. Audiences are simmering, too. The graphic depiction of psychological abuse is so extreme that the film has been given an R rating for emotional violence. Aaron Eckert's character is behind the scheme. Chad is an antisocial behavior disorder sociopath, in a nutshell. He is a man who uh, has no feelings whatsoever. I like you. Don't blush, it's true. But it's not true. And in the end, the good are punished, the bad are rewarded, and the audiences are left wondering why. It, it's a little confounding that way, but to me that makes it more exciting. Life is for the taking, is it not? When I was younger, I thought people paid for every wrong action. And I think there's some people who can get away with it in this lifetime. But will in the company of men get away with confronting these cruel courtship rituals? Yeah. Only time and ticket sales will tell. Cynthia Tornquist, CNN Entertainment News, New York.